Blackpink's Jennie has recently secured the trademark for her name, Jennie Ruby Jane, in South Korea. This achievement marks a significant milestone in her career, reflecting her growing influence and personal branding efforts. It's inspiring to see how she is taking control of her professional identity, a move that many artists aspire to. The application for this trademark was made with the Korean Intellectual Property Office back in January 2023. The process was a lengthy one, taking over a year to complete, showcasing Jenny's dedication and persistence in solidifying her brand. The official confirmation came from the Korean media outlet Star News on August 2, 2024. Jenny's English name, Jenny Ruby Jane, adds a touch of elegance and international appeal, distinguishing her from her Korean name, Kim Jenny, which remains her legal name. This dual identity resonates with her global fanbase and highlights her versatility as an artist. Jenny's educational background in New Zealand during her childhood further underscores her international outlook and the multifaceted nature of her persona. Jenny's decision to use her English name for her acting debut in HBO's The Idol, where she stars alongside The Weeknd and Lily Rose Depp, is a strategic move. It reflects her ambition to reach a broader audience and her adaptability in different entertainment fields. On social media platforms like Instagram and YouTube, she consistently uses Jenny Ruby Jane, creating a cohesive brand image that her fans adore. In April, Jenny also filed for the trademark in the United States, sparking speculation among fans about a possible solo comeback. This strategic move hints at her plans to expand her influence in the global market. The anticipation among Blinks, her dedicated fans, is palpable, as they eagerly await her solo album release, potentially under the name Jenny Ruby Jane. Jenny's subtle hints about her first solo album during the 2024 Met Gala only fueled this excitement. Amidst her professional milestones, Jenny also faced personal challenges. She expired her individual contract with YG Entertainment and launched her solo agency, ODD Atelier, OA. This bold move indicates her desire for creative freedom and control over her career. Her upcoming music release under ODD Atelier is highly anticipated and marks a new chapter in her journey. However, Jenny was recently involved in a controversy regarding indoor smoking and vaping in a closed space, which led to criticism for allegedly exhaling on the faces of her staff members. She addressed the issue and apologized through her agency, showing accountability and maturity. Such incidents highlight the pressures and scrutiny public figures face and Jenny's ability to navigate through them. The trademark registration decision came after a two-month application period in April, and now, Jenny is the official owner of the Jenny Ruby Jane trademark in South Korea. This accomplishment is not just a legal victory, but a testament to her brand strength and her foresight in securing her name. Fans are now more excited than ever, eagerly anticipating her solo album release. Jenny's legal name, Kim Jenny, was revealed on a variety show, adding a personal touch to her public persona. Her choice to use her English name from her time in New Zealand for her acting career showcases her strategic thinking. Jenny Ruby Jane is the name she proudly uses on social media, connecting with her global audience. The filing of the U.S. trademark in April led to speculations about a solo comeback, a testament to Jenny's star power and the excitement she generates among her fans. Blinks are buzzing with discussions about her potential solo album release. Jenny's hints at new music during public appearances only add to the anticipation. Her decision to end her contract with YG Entertainment and start her agency, ODD Atelier, signifies a new era of independence and creativity for her. Her next music release under her new agency is eagerly awaited, marking the beginning of a promising new chapter in her illustrious career. Brand control and professional identity, Jenny has taken significant steps to control her professional identity by securing the trademark for her name Jenny Ruby Jane in South Korea. This move reflects her growing influence and the importance of personal branding in her career. Dedication and persistence, the lengthy process of over a year to obtain the trademark demonstrates Jenny's dedication and persistence in solidifying her brand. This showcases her commitment to her career and her proactive approach to managing her professional assets. Dual identity and global appeal, Jenny's use of her English name, Jenny Ruby Jane, alongside her Korean name, Kim Jenny, highlights her dual identity. This resonates with her global fanbase and underscores her versatility as an artist with international appeal. Strategic career moves, Jenny's decision to use her English name for her acting debut in HBO's The Idol reflects her ambition to reach a broader audience and adapt to different entertainment fields. This strategic move enhances her versatility and appeal as an artist. Expansion plans, 
By filing for the trademark in the United States, Jenny indicates her plans to expand her influence in the global market. This move has sparked speculation among fans about a possible solo comeback, highlighting the excitement and anticipation surrounding her future projects. Independence and creative freedom, Jenny's decision to end her contract with YG Entertainment and launch her solo agency, ODD Atelier, OA, signifies a new era of independence and creativity for her. This bold move reflects her desire for creative freedom and control over her career. Handling controversies, Jenny's involvement in a controversy regarding indoor smoking and vaping demonstrates the pressures and scrutiny public figures face. Her response and apology through her agency show her accountability and maturity in navigating such challenges. Fan engagement and anticipation, the anticipation among fans, known as Blinks, for Jenny's solo album release under her new agency highlights the strong connection she maintains with her fanbase. Her subtle hints about new music further fuel this excitement. Personal touch and public persona, Jenny's legal name, Kim Jenny, revealed on a variety show, adds a personal touch to her public persona. This humanizes her and deepens the connection with her audience. Strategic use of social media, Jenny's consistent use of Jenny Ruby Jane on social media platforms like Instagram and YouTube creates a cohesive brand image that resonates with her global audience. This strategic use of social media helps in maintaining a strong and engaging online presence. Lily Rose Depp, born on May 27, 1999, in Neuilly-sur-Seine, France, has emerged as a prominent figure in the world of acting and modeling. As the daughter of renowned actor Johnny Depp and French singer-actress Vanessa Paradis, Lily Rose has grown up in the limelight, inheriting a unique blend of artistic talent and charisma from her illustrious parents. Her journey from a celebrity child to a respected artist in her own right is a compelling story of talent, ambition, and the pursuit of personal identity. Lily Rose's early life was marked by a transatlantic upbringing, splitting her time between the United States and France. This bicultural background has profoundly influenced her worldview and artistic sensibilities. Fluent in both English and French, she seamlessly navigates between two cultures, embodying a cosmopolitan charm that is reflected in her work and public persona. Her parents' decision to keep her and her brother, Jack Depp, away from the relentless scrutiny of the media during their childhood allowed her to develop a strong sense of self and a grounded personality, despite her family's fame. Lily Rose's first foray into the world of entertainment came in 2014 when she appeared in a small role in the horror comedy film Tusk, directed by Kevin Smith. Her performance, though brief, caught the attention of critics and audiences alike, signaling the arrival of a new talent in Hollywood. This role also marked the beginning of a fruitful collaboration with Smith, who cast her in his subsequent films, Yoga Hosers, 2016, and Moose Jaws, TBA. In Yoga Hosers, Lily Rose starred alongside her friend Harley Quinn Smith, playing a pair of teenage yoga enthusiasts who battle evil forces. The film showcased her comedic timing and screen presence, further establishing her as a versatile young actress. As Lily Rose Depp continues to navigate her career, she remains an inspiring figure for aspiring artists and young women around the world. Her story is one of talent, perseverance, and the courage to forge one's own path in the face of expectations and challenges. With each new role and endeavor, she demonstrates her unwavering commitment to her craft and her determination to leave a lasting mark on the world of entertainment and fashion.